I thought the FBI was evil before all this stuff happened. But my cynicism has had a very hard time keeping up with reality in this case. Because <laughs> this one even shocked me. What we discovered in the course of the depositions is that one month before the bomb went off on my, in my car on May 24, 1990, almost exactly a month to the date, the FBI conducted a bomb school, their words, in Eureka, California, up in the Redwood region. And what they did at bomb school was they blew up cars with pipe bombs and practiced responding. And the teacher of bomb school was Special Agent Frank Doyle, the very same one who took over the scene. And the students at bomb school included at least five, and we're trying to find out more, of the responding officers who worked under him picking up the debris. So when we asked Sergeant Hansen from the Oakland police, how could you say that this bomb was in the back seat, he said, well, if Frank Doyle was my teacher, I wasn't about to contradict him. So certainly he set up a line of authority with that. But then there's something else that they did. The other thing I need to say about bomb schools, the place where they held this bomb school, the place where they blew up these cars was on Louisiana Pacific land. And Louisiana Pacific, of course, being one of our principal adversaries. And um, uh, you know, we asked if Louisiana Pacific security was there. And well, yes, they would be there to secure their interests. So this alliance of LP and the FBI and this exercise of blowing up cars and practicing responding with the very, virtually what they did, the, it, Frank Doyle told the class at bomb school, he said um, that when people when people bomb each other, they hardly ever put the bomb inside the passenger compartment because it's allegedly so hard to break into a car, okay? Um, instead, he says, they strap it underneath the car or they put it in the engine. And so since one of the reasons that they say they knew that this was my bomb was because the, the bomb was inside the passenger compartment. And um, so if you think about what he's doing here, I, I, you know, you can take your choice how to describe this. You can either be a conspiracy theorist or you can be a coincidence theorist. But one way or another, one month before the bombing, Frank Doyle told the people that people who, that this bomb scene, they actually created the same crime scene that they were about to respond to. They blew up three cars. We said, well, where were the bombs in the cars that they blew up? Two out of three were in the passenger compartment right after he finished telling people that people don't bomb each other in the passenger compartment. So um, at, what he's doing is he's created this bomb scene, he's created virtually the same crime scene that they're about to respond to, and he's told them that this crime scene is not consistent with the victim of a bombing. It's consistent with transporting a bomb. So um, in addition to setting up this line of authority, Frank Doyle also prejudiced people's response. So I'm not saying that bomb school means that they had prior knowledge of the bomb. We'll have to wait and see about that one. Um, but it certainly did those two things. It certainly prejudiced the respondents and it set up a line of authority.